Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for coming back to the channel. Uh, you might be asking, you know, why the different shot? I got my little table over here. I uh, got my stuff on that I need to uh, for this review, actually. Uh, <clears throat> in this review, I'm kind of ecstatic about it, like really excited to do this. Um, I want to apologize first off to the guys uh, at this company for taking so long to get this review out. As a couple of videos before this, um, <clears throat> I moved uh, and it was kind of like a rushed thing. Uh, we basically had to get out of the house we were living in. Um, people that I've talked to understand the reason why we had to move such in, in such a hurry. Um, there was a couple problems and it just, we needed out. I needed a better place for my family uh, and here we are. Um, I think I had this product uh, well over a month uh, and it's a product that I should have done um, a few days after I received it so I apologize to you guys uh, but anyway <clears throat> one of the things I've always uh, wanted to own uh, was a kilt I know that sounds weird you guys already seen the description or the title um, the guys at Kilted Cock <laughs> sent me an awesome kilt, uh, and that's why I'm in the shot, a wide shot now. I'm going to get up and show you guys the kilt on, which is totally awesome. Uh, I wanted to read a little bit about them, uh, get you guys familiarized uh, where the company's from, uh, what they do there, uh, price-wise, if you guys would be interested. Uh, and. The overall quality of this kilt is just amazing. I got it a, a smidge too big for me because it's my first kilt. Uh, you know, I thought I did the measurements right, but that's okay because it's got adjustments on the side. Uh, no need for the belt. It looks good. It feels good. Uh, and it's definitely a different feeling. Uh, so if you guys are interested in this video, stay tuned after the intro and uh, we'll get right to it. This is the beginning of meditation. Welcome back guys, appreciate you sticking around if you did, uh, and you're not, probably not a lot of people want to see me in a, in a kilt, or as most of you guys would call it, a skirt, uh, but I thought it was cool when I got this in the mail. Uh, the owners were super cool, super nice, uh, worked with me, uh, sent me a really, really cool kilt. Uh, I'm going to read a little bit about them. Um, really nice company, you guys probably, once I say where they're from, you guys would be like, what? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> uh, Kilted Cock inspires men to freely express themselves through fashion and lifestyle accessories. From our home in, I'm not going to say yet, USA and provide customers uh, all over the world with high quality kilts, shirts, accessories, and more. Um, if you guys want to check them out after the video, you can hit them up at help at kiltedcockclothing.com. Uh, and that's with a C, Kilted Cock. <laughs> uh, their story, Kilted, Kilted Cock is inspired by the island of Maui. Yes, they're from Hawaii. Uh, where we live and a handsome rooster called Geronimo, whom we met here. Uh, Maui has hundreds of wild roosters who join residents and visitors alike to landmarks, beaches, and more. While wearing his kilt on island, our co-founder Steve Sweat it's S-W-E-T-T, -T, uh, had dozens, hundreds with uh, question mark, of inquir in inquiries about his attire, which inspired us to create a unique kilt and fashion accessory store uh, that inspires men to freely express the best version of themselves. Uh, and it's actually, uh, and it's actually got a picture of a rooster, if you guys can see that. <laughs> Pretty funny. Um, <clears throat> and it goes on to say, you know, size, it's really difficult, well, to me, because it's the first time to size a kilt. Because obviously, I, I mean, I don't think I did it wrong. I just, I think I overdid it. I overcompensated myself because you're supposed to measure between your belly button and your waistline. Uh, and I did that, but I, I measured up a little bit. And the way you do that is I'll read that real quick for you guys. 
Uh, so surprising as it may seem, your kilt size is not your pant size, which definitely isn't. Uh, if my pant size were this size, I'd be a whole lot bigger than I am now. Uh, kilts sit a bit higher than pants do, right above the hips and just below your belly button. As a result, your kilt size is usually larger than your pant size. The best way to get your size to use fabric tape measure uh, around your waist, just below your belly button and above your normal waistline. This will give you a kilt waist measurement. Uh, because our kilts are mostly cotton and may shrink slightly when washed, we recommend you round up, adding three inches, I think I added six inches to be honest, three inches uh, to odd kilt measurements and two inches to even ones. For example, if you have a 33 inch or 34 inch kilt measurement, you should go to a 36 kilt. Um, so, uh, I'd like to thank those guys for sending this out to me. Uh, it fits great. Um, I buckled the sides to make it fit a little bit tighter but uh, i haven't washed it yet so i'm kind of excited to actually wash it and see how much it does shrink hopefully it shrinks up enough um their business card uh, actually these are the this is their stickers you can see that pretty cool looking uh and their their business cards again really awesome looking all their information uh, and if you're familiar with kilts, uh, you get a you should have a kilt pin. I'm not exactly I don't know where the placement is exactly, um, but this but they sent me um, a nice pin to put on my kilt. Pretty cool. Uh, and the stitching on this thing uh, is just amazing. Uh, it's it's heavy stitched it it seems like it's double stitched I, at least that's what i can see uh the, the material uh the fabric of it is it's really thick in nature it's going to be a little stiff because obviously it's brand new i haven't got to wash it yet um, it's been in my closet uh since we've moved into this place uh, and by the way guys if nobody knows and there's only a few people that know uh, the place we actually moved into uh is an old church so yeah uh, like right to the right of me uh, used to be the altar and there's two steps going up to it just really really weird but anyway um, like I said this has been sitting on top of my closet flat so it doesn't get wrinkled and stuff uh, so I hope you guys like it it looks pretty cool to me uh, and stand up now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera back a little bit and give you guys a little model demonstration uh, and as I said, my belly button's right here. I wear my pants about right here. Uh, my belly button, like I said, is right here. And this is where uh, the kilt is. And as you can see, it's, this is, feels kind of weird, me doing this. I'm like modeling. So cool. Uh, and I don't know if you guys, I'm gonna pan down a little bit for you. Go down. And yes, the flap is there. Pretty cool. Again. Pretty wild. And the way that this is designed, like, it's so, like, it's, it's, it's like, I want to say rad. It's freaking awesome. I got adjustments up here, little for your keys, deep pockets. I don't know if you guys can see that, deep pockets. Uh, and on the other side, I'll turn around. Uh, it's the same thing, different, uh, different adjustments right here. Another uh, deep pocket. I don't know if you guys can see that. I want to buckle this. And if you want it tighter, all you got to do is squeeze it over and you know, push it over. And like I said, it is real. I don't know if you guys can see my, my leg right there. I got white legs. But uh, that pretty much sums it up. You guys can see the bottom of it. Pretty awesome. Let me get you guys back in view. Oh, there we go. Uh, and it just feels weird having to... Um, having to... Uh, grab the back of it and kind of put it down so I hope you guys enjoyed this this video it's a little bit different than my other ones uh, usually I don't have to model for you guys just my beard
but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, to the guys at uh, the Kilded Cock, thank you so much. Uh, this is like uh, awesome to me. I'm Irish, Scottish, so I got you know Irish shirt on. Uh, thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. Um, I think I'm going to, the next on the list, uh, I'm going to try to get the belt, purchase the belt to, to go on this along with the shirt. And that way I'll give you guys a follow-up video uh, of the whole get-up, which would be pretty awesome. Get some uh, leather moccasins that come way up on my uh, legs. Be, I think it'd be totally cool. If you guys are new to the channel, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you like the video, it's a little different than what I'm normally uh, doing. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, and of course, to keep up to date with my videos, hit that notification bell. Uh, so all your uh, devices can go ding, 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 ding. With that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you're looking for a kilt, go uh, hit up Kilted Cock. I'll leave all their links in the description box below. Uh, and I believe it's very, very affordable too. Um, uh, I don't know right off the top of my head. I'm trying to think what I've seen, but uh, all the links will be in the description box below. Until the next video, guys, peace. See if I can do this from way back here.